Hi folks, God bless you and love to everybody out there. Uh, it's nice to be with you. I'm making a few videos today and uh, one of the videos that uh, I want to make is concerning uh, my possible moving. I'm hoping to move to Ghana next year, uh, God willing. And uh, I want to tell you about it and I want to ask for your support, uh, for your prayers and support as well. Uh, I've been to Ghana and I did a lot of preaching for the Lamb of God Ministries. I, I preached in uh, churches around Accra and uh, in Accra. I was very shocked at the poverty in Ghana and I felt very, very moved that I needed to help. There were churches that were no proper buildings, no toilets and there was so much poverty there I, I was really moved and I, I, I felt compelled that I needed to help this this denomination and to help help in, in as much as I can uh, people in Ghana with their poverty uh, I just felt so convicted really um, and the other thing as well that um, I found that there was a lot of advertisements by mega pastors, uh, big, big, big posters advertising themselves, and it was clear to me that it seemed ninety percent of Christianity there was more about making money uh, with these mega pastors, and it and it grieved me. And also, I saw the potential that that Ghana had for a mission to reach out and, and, and plant new churches and things. So I mentioned this uh, to one or two people and it got to the bishop and the bishop was interested in it and he mentioned it to his pastors and leaders and we had a, a private meeting and I told him the vision about, about starting a theological seminary and a, and a Bible college, the Bible college to teach young people to, to uh, reach out and do mission and a theological seminary to train men for the ministry so that they're not about money but they're about teaching the bible and preaching the word of god and the leaders were really pleased with this and they asked me if i would uh, do start the theological seminary in bible college and suggested or said that i was the president well i think the bishop said of this seminary we came up with the idea, or I came up with the idea, of calling it Grace Bible College Theological Seminary. And so the seed of the vision was born. An invitation was given. And I feel called to, to go back to Ghana to fulfill this vision. Um, so the denomination are going to be looking for a mission house. and But I'll need uh, a car which is more like a four-wheel drive because there's a lot of there's not there's not um, there's not the roads that we have it is it's like ditches a lot of its mud ditches it's really bad and if I'm gonna go out into the countryside to help some of these churches as well I'll need transport to get to them and you can't do it by a bus or taxi you need a more like a four-wheel drive Otherwise, you just couldn't survive in that situation, in that context. And then, though they'll help with the mission house, I still need to to pay bills and and also pay most of the rent. And and um, also to get the seminary going uh, with books and. Uh, and get a, a library sorted out so I'm gonna need a lot of support I will not be able to do this without backup I need backup I need a lot of backup because it's a very needy nation it's a very needy area that I'm going to it it, it really really is a needy place uh, it's quite dangerous um, 
white people who get taxis are in danger of being attacked. Uh, if they know you're a pastor, then they're okay. But even then, a lot of them, a lot of people move into Accra from different African nations, so they're not going to know you, you're a, a pastor. So it's quite it can be quite dangerous. Um, the hospitals, the healthcare's not very good. You can go into hospital uh, for a minor issue and come out dead. So the infrastructure is not really there. So if I'm seriously going to go to Ghana, which I, I am, I need a lot of support. I need a lot of backup. And uh, so I'm doing this video. Uh, God willing, next year I'll be president of a theological seminary and Bible college, uh, teaching young people to do mission, teaching people to be pastors and uh, helping with the bishop and his denomination and the leaders to to encourage uh, church planting and I'm asking that you would even now start prayer meetings in your homes or your churches uh, that you would consider supporting the theological seminary sending books uh, providing equipment that we can get this set up and uh, financially uh, to support me as a missionary uh, to be able to have the infrastructure here or wherever the support is in the West to be able to go into Ghana uh, and to help the people there so I'll need a lot of support so if you're interested in supporting me as a missionary uh, you can go on PayPal you can go on my YouTube channel and see PayPal uh, go there and, and uh, donate something per week or month uh, you can go on YouTube uh, on uh, Facebook and from time to time I'll do uh, giving campaigns so you can give that way you can also give by contacting me through my web uh, through my website an e email and I'll send you uh, a sheet which will give you details and uh, bank details and you can give that way if you want to give that way um, or you can give to Lamb of God Ministries I can give you the address and you can send something to them uh, and say this is for Jason could you keep it for him whatever so or, or, or just donate to them and say this is for the seminary or whatever so I'm asking for the support I'm asking for prayer support I'm asking for moral support I'm asking you to hold the rope while I go down into the pit there um, I can't do it I really really can't do it without you so if you feel led or called to, to stand with me then then I, I would appreciate that now my work in the UK I think I've done a lot of work in street preaching and Hyde Park um, I'll be back one day in the UK I'll be back to resume the work but I just feel called to help the bishop to help the people in Accra at the moment I believe it's strategic I believe that we could train many pastors to not only influence Ghana but the rest of Africa to stem the tide of Islam in, in, in Africa um, apparently there's a guy who debates in, in Ghana who's challenging Christians to debate him and he's a Muslim apologist and uh, if I turn up and say I'll debate you then you know he'll be shut up because he, he won't want to debate me so I can be used by God to stem the tide of Islam in Africa uh, by being a president of a Bible college and training pastors and training missionaries etc and I'll be back one day in the UK to resume the work here but I feel that the work here for the time being is closing and there's a door opening in in Africa I want to thank the people who supported me in my work in the UK there are people that donate there's a, a brother who's wonderful who's donated regularly on PayPal and has increased the giving and I really appreciate that 
and uh, there are other brothers and sisters that have given me money, uh, given me equipment, and I've had everything that I've needed to do mission work and to do evangelism and preaching and street preaching in the UK. I've not wanted for anything. I've always had everything that I've needed. And I want to thank everybody that has given to me, supported me. But this is a bigger challenge. And I'm going to need support and, and a, it's a project that I need people to help me to get off the ground. So for example, I'll be doing videos and sending and contacting people and, and institutions to ask for books. So to get books for the library. And uh, so that's one area that I'll be asking help in the future. And also, I'll be asking for help to help the poor. Um, I, I went with money to Ghana and I came back with no money because I, I literally gave my, most of my money to the poor. There, there was a, an elderly lady and a, a young boy. He was only five. His mum died. And I gave them £20. And in that community, twenty pounds was like three hundred pounds here. It's like a, it's like a fortune. It's like a lot of money to them. But they were just destitute. They had nothing. They had nothing to to eat. They had nothing. And I, I just, I just had to help them. And there was other people that I helped. So I'll be calling on you at times to help to support these children, to support these people. There's a lady that I've been told is homeless at the moment and she's got two children and so I'll be calling on you to help these people you know so please pray about my going to Ghana I know a lot of you will think it's not a good idea I'm not great at traveling but you know I just feel I have to go there's other reasons why I'm going people know about that reason other other reasons um, but but my heart cannot leave these people alone I have to go back whether I have a family there or not I have to go back to help these people um, so I need you to stand with me alright thank you for listening God bless you